Yo, 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 welcome back to Beers and Garbage, episode two. We, we're just here to uh, drink some beer, talk some garbage. Got the shock top today, summer day, breezy day. Feel me? Cheers, boys. Cheers. Cheers. Ah. You guys know our names. Ah. You guys know our names. We don't have to introduce ourselves every fucking time. Who are you? Who are you? I'm Mark. Ooh. Well, I was like, that was a little sexy. I'm sorry, this shit was that fucking was sexy. Delicious. I was like, the second this shit was delicious. sexy. I don't want to sleep my pants off. Hey, hey, yo. Hey, yo, what the fuck? How was your week, boys? Oh, tell me God. tell me all about your week. That's all I want to know. Basic. Right. Basic mm-hmm. week? Basic week. Basically. It was a four It was a four day week, but it didn't feel like it. felt like five fucking days. Four, okay. okay. You know what I'm saying? Like that Monday was nice at first because Tuesday felt like Wednesday, but then Wednesday and Thursday felt like Wednesday. Ooh, you ever say more confused in my life than right now? You're just, just long. I got you. I got you. Um, I have a story. So, uh, I'm bringing back the laundry. I'm bringing back laundry. <laughs> the laundry that you did not laundry, do that. You paid, so, that you paid the laundry to do. No, no, no. So, this is this. this. So, I pull up in front of the building, the car, everything. I get it right. I go upstairs to get my bags of laundry, three bags to be exact. I go downstairs and I, I'm doing something in the car. I'm moving stuff around and stuff. And I just drive over. Guys, whatever you get to do. What's laundry in the car? Ding, ding, ding. You got it right. So I left three bags of laundry in three? front of my building. What the fuck? Three bags. What the fuck? You got three bags of laundry? Me and my roommates. Why you have three bags, though? A lot of people. So I leave them and I realize this. The next day, when I'm driving, I'm like, oh, I got to pick up laundry today. And I'm <laughs> like, wait, I never dropped it off. So I'm, I'm like, flip, I'm freaking out. I'm like, where is this thing? So I realized that I left it in front of the building. I drive back to the building, and all three bags of laundry are on top of the trash. <gasps> That's on top of the trash. No and they're like maybe half of what they were. So people are going to be walking around my neighborhood. Where am I be next? Shut the fuck up. I'm just going to let you know, no one fits in your V-necks. Nobody wears XXXXL. They're going to go to sleep. Oh They're going to go to sleep, sleep bro. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Never mind. Never mind. Andy, 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 real shit, real shit. Why do you have such a problem with Mark being... No, it's not a problem. It's just really funny. Oh. So fat's funny to you? Ooh. Yeah, when it's Mark. Okay. Yeah. So, besides the guys... Walking around, well, whoever's gonna be walking around in my t shirts, my underwear, my socks, and my shorts. Your underwear? Um, oh shit. When I dropped it off, you know, I got it back, I told him to wash it twice. Whatever it was remaining. Do you pay double? Uh, no, she felt bad for me. Oh, you told you him the whole sob story? Of course, I told him. You don't tell. Is it, hold on, is this like your regular laundromat? Yeah. You go every day? Do they know you play? Oh, you're she regular. Knows, she knows, they all know my phone number. Oh, oh shit. Like, as soon as you walk yeah. in, oh, Mark is here. No. Yeah, they pretty much. Bag. They enjoy the little laundry bag and everything. They, they, yeah, yeah, they see a rib, I get a free bag. Yeah. No way. You got the hook up. What the yeah, fuck? It's, it's a good service. Can you put me on? No. Nah. Okay. So, what happened, what, what this this uh, story led me to was I was, you know, reading story about people finding stuff and so forth. I came across this story where this woman got a couch off Craigslist. For free. She got like a little, you know, those little chairs. So the overall story is that she took the couch home. She was cleaning it up. You know, when you get stuff from Craigslist, you got you to win that. Fucking detox. You got to clean it up. So she opens up the cushion and finds $38,000. How many? How many, how many dollars? 30, 38 followed by, I think, 30 zero. I'm not good at that. Holy shit. So, Boys, what do you think she did with the money? Oh, look. I don't know what she did with the money. So what would you do with the money? I would uh, I would keep it, bro. You keep it? 100%. Any, any first, 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 instinct, first instinct is to keep it. Keep it, okay. What would you do, Andy? I would probably shit myself. Because if you got $38,000 on a couch, it's not clean money. Okay. And that means so, no, no, no. The way I think about it is if you found money, then just like you found it, there's someone looking for it. Yeah, nine times out of ten, you don't want to meet that motherfucker. Well, somebody's beat. So, are you buying yourself something? Or are you oh no, I'm 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 buying out the strip club. Oh, oh, I'm just gonna let it rain. Yeah, I mean, if I'm gonna die, I might as well die well. You know, having some fun. Okay. So, blow it in one place, kind of thing, or 
You're not gonna do anything uh, smaller there. I mean, I mean, no, I'll, 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 I'll slide. Just, I'll slide five to my mom, five to my sister. You know, simple shit like so that. You got whatever's slide. left. I. <laughs> You gonna slide thirty money to your family? Yes, yeah, you're an fuck animal. Uh, <laughs> What's wrong 100, with you? 100%. Yo, you, somebody's chasing you. That you're gonna let them chase your family? Yeah. Oh, okay. So what the a fuck? bad guy. They're gonna be behind me anyways, bro. You're garbage, bad guy. Well, thing I'm on this podcast. <laughs> so, fuck. Um, so this woman, she gave it back. She gave it back to her family, uh, to the family that she got the share sure, from, yeah, cash from, okay. and well. Family was happy. They didn't know about the money, so the money belonged to like their family member that recently passed away, oh, and that's why they were giving away the furniture. Damn. And whoever did, whoever owned the furniture was hiding money in the dark. Oh, so she fucked up because nobody would have known. Nobody would. That's fucking bullshit. Yeah, nobody would have known. She could have done anything she wanted. To die. No, actually, you know what? Thinking of it now, the way I see it, the way I see it, honestly, oh. if my fault, my fault, Andy. No, you go. The way I see it is if is if she. Is it the money belongs to somebody who is willing to put thirty five thousand dollars in a the couch? They are also putting themselves, and they understand the risk of somebody else finding the money and keeping it. They're not. Nobody's gonna go and find you and kill you over thirty five thousand dollars that you found in a couch. You never know, bro. Bro, it could, you it never could know. Be, it could be some low level dealer that thirty five thousand dollars. Low level dealer. Thing. The low level dealer is not gonna go through the trouble of hiding you in the couch. So that not even a single family member can find it. I, I think you're giving too much credit to some no, dumbass people. I think, I think I you think haven't seen uh, Goodfellas. No, oh, it is. Yeah. Remember, he, those are all mobsters. But if it was a mobster, it's a mobster. And he said low level drug dealer. Oh, well, that was an example. If it was okay, a mobster, you don't know what it is. Okay, a low level drug dealer is. Gonna, uh, hold on. A low, a low <laughs> level drug dealer is going to go out and he. Those are the types that are going to go kill you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. The ones that are going to miss the money. A yeah. mobster, a mobster, or a gangster, or a big coke dealer, they be like, I right, got those dollars, fuck, an L. Well, I don't know, mobsters, mobsters are about respect, though. There's only, so, one, uh, what was you say? There's only one way to find out. If you're a mobster or a uh, low-level criminal, please comment in on the YouTube channel. Yeah, let us and know. And let us know what you would do if somebody took $38,000 of your money in account. Realistically speaking, now that I think about it really well, let's say if I knew that no one was going to look for this money, I'm probably dishing out the money on a really good long vacation. Thirty thousand dollars is you could run away with thirty eight thousand dollars. I don't know about yeah, but you'd have, start to, a new you'd have to come back though. In a different country, you could start a new life in a different. Or state. I just start a business, you know, clean the money through some. Oh, actually, that's more crime. Never mind. Yo, good question. If you got thirty eight thousand dollars that you find on the couch, what kind of business are you gonna start? Some drugs. Nice. More cool. Any ideas? Um, I don't know, I'd probably, you know, invest it by some, uh, crypto. Do you have a light form dream that you have that you just, you just need an X amount of money to fulfill? Yeah, yes. I would open, I would love to open up a garage. Like a... It's a fixed car. Fixed car? Oh, yeah. like a mechanic kind of? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Do you have a specific type of car that you want to fix or is just any? I think your girl's car. No? So okay. it would pretty much be any type of car. Okay. I, I, I believe in the honesty. The honesty approach to it, you know what I mean? Because you, bro, you always feel like you get ripped off in the accounts. Because you do. No offense. So, so you would have ripped people up? Nah, straight up. So you're a good guy. Especially if I found the money and I opened the business with money that I found, bro, I've got to give it back to the community. Bullshit. But what I would do if I found thirty eight thousand dollars of cash, I hit up that family and ask if they had more furniture. Ding ding sure. ding, bro. That's the right answer. Did we, just go, right answer. did we just go on Craigslist and look for free furniture? <laughs> but just come pick it up and cut it open. I have a I have a funny ass. It, whoever is listening to this, go on any like you know offer up Facebook market. Search up uh, uh people who are selling mirrors. Have you guys seen the? Because you know you have to take a picture of the product you're selling. <laughs> when you search up people selling mirrors, the pictures are fucking hilarious. Sometimes people will be trying to hide, so they'll do that like the thing where it's like they're maneuvering themselves away. <laughs> no, that's actually that funny. Then there was one. <laughs> I've seen one where the, I see old, it was an old ass lady. She had no. She had a shirt that you could see through. You know, you wow. know it's gone. But that those fucking pictures are so funny. Sometimes you'll see their houses and they have some weird shit like a cat on the wall. That shit is fucking hilarious. Search up people selling mirrors. You heard that, guys? People selling mirrors. Take a look. You'll see all this there. Take a look. You might, you might see. Out. 
You might see Oleg there. Someone got banned if you are naked in it. Good job. Ooh, you catch me, catch me on OnlyFans. <laughs> catch me on OnlyFans. I don't make any money on OnlyFans right now, but, you know, a little bit of support yeah. over here and there. Yeah. Little bit support. I can pull Oleg's. myself to college. <laughs> Oleg's is fans. Um, Oleg's is fans. I was like, like Oleg's is angels. <laughs> <laughs> That's just yeah, I'm taking the side. Do you get the reference? None at all. Ooh. Do you not really get the reference? All this is angels? Yeah. Okay, well, this is where the age gap just falls in. Uh you have have you ever heard of Charlie's Angels? No. Have you have, have you heard of Have you ever heard of Charlie? Recent? Hold on, even more recent, even more recent. Yeah, Charlie. So Charlie's Angels and there was a spin-off of this this dude that Kinda had his own little entourage of girls called uh, Taz's Angels. That sounds familiar. Yeah, really know. they um, they just live in a big ass house, a bunch of bad bitches. And Wait, hold up though. What's what's what? Okay, I understand. Charlie's that. Angels yeah, is uh, the overall idea is that Charlie's the main guy. He runs like this, like let's say the secret organization, and he has the girls that work for him as spies. They are called his angels. Is this a movie? Yes. It, um, I think it was a show as well. Not but, but never heard. Taz's Angels is just... Um, it's a porno. Not really a porno. They don't really... Oh, I feel like if OnlyFans was like lit back when Taz's Angels were lit, it would be a porno. But <laughs> it was just Snapchat, and it was just them being bad bitches, and they, nev- they never showed Taz. What the fuck? Oh, they never showed, they never showed Charlie. Right. They never showed the main guy. Yeah, the main guys never. They just show the girls that he hangs out. There's, with. I think, two movies. Two movies. I'm not sure. I only, I only seen the first one. Uh, wasn't that good? It wasn't, it wasn't that good. Nah, you're not there for the movie. No, you're there for the girls. Oh, I guess. Um, speaking of finding money, and you can also say winning money, right? Have you guys ever? Uh, what's the biggest amount you've ever won in, like scratch offs, lottos? Twenty five dollars. You won twenty five hundred dollars off of a uh, McGregor fight against the supporter. I guess. Yeah. I guess. Two, I guess. Yeah. No, no not betting. Not like, betting. Lottery. Scratch up. Oh, lottery. Fuck. No. Slot machine. No, twenty. Only had two years to be really. Be, like, oh buy snap! Them. Yeah, he hasn't like actually. Yeah. I only played the lottery once. It was because I was eighteen. I was like, oh, was oh, well, I didn't win. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, could have won that. How much was the? How much was your first? Do you remember your first purchase? Uh, no, I don't. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, that's fine. What's the biggest amount you won? The dollar, bro. For what? Mega power? Nah, nah, nah. That was like a uh, lucky seven. Lucky seven. Oh, like one of those lucky seven. My, my mom, my mom used to have this superstition sure. where she would, um, if she dreams about winning money or mm. coming upon money, she would wake up and go buy lottery tickets. Not for that. She'd buy a lottery ticket for herself, for me, for my little sister, and we would all like sit at home and scratch them off and see who won. But me personally, I do not. I don't believe in that. I feel like it's the biggest scam of America. Okay. Aside from health insurance. Have you ever heard of the, the back to the superstition of winning money also? The whole if your hand your palm itches? Yeah, if your palm itches then yeah. you have money expect coming to you, yeah. You ever heard of that? Yeah, yeah. Heard of that. my palm never itches. <laughs> <laughs> I never felt that feeling, bro. So Is your palm itching? No, he said his palm never itches, meaning that he's never expected money to come uh, his way. If we have to explain every single right. thing to you today, this is going to be a problem, bro. I'm just slow it's okay. bro. No, I'm just 20. Facts. Ah, I'm just 20. Cheers. Facts. Nah, cheers to being 20, bro. Cheers. Cheers, cheers to being young. <laughs> Ooh, that was a loud one. Mm-hmm. That's Mark, that's Mark is not going to like that. Mark told me if we're too loud, and the little very spikes, hard to fix it for you guys. If the little spikes on the screen go a little crazy, then we're in trouble. Yeah, part of the part of the loudness. You guys should see the fucking smoke that we just made. What about uh, what about the lottery though? Oh, so uh, well, thanks for asking. But the biggest I won on scratch offs was two fifty, and the most I won in a casino was five hundred off slots. I think that's also gambling, like betting, isn't it? Technically, you gotta put in to get out, like actual serious money. Yeah, but like, you like, could put in what ten dollars, you could get like thousands back. I mean, you could put in anything. You hit the jackpot on a lot on a slot, you can get whatever. You, oh, slot on a slot, yeah, you're right. You're right. So, yeah. you're right. So this guy won, I think, Mega. 
I don't remember exactly what it was called. Oh, Have you guys read this? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The 10 million guy. I read it. So the guy wins uh, $10 million, and then two years later, he's found guilty yeah. of That's murdering exactly. his girlfriend. Mm-hmm. So this guy won $10 million. I did that. Probably decided, you know, like, I'm going to give myself a girl. And, you know, girls, certain girls, gold diggers. Yeah, girls, pretty girls. They're going to go and find the guy with money. So this guy is like, yo, probably probably flashing his money. Hold on, by flashing his money. Yeah. So he just goes to a hotel, mm-hmm. and inside the hotel, this girl was sexting other dudes because she was only with the guy for the money. Assumption. Oh, not, not really assumptions. Like sometimes you just catch a girl. Only texting? No, no. I'm saying you didn't read that. This wasn't an article. This was an article. Oh, this was an article. I didn't yes. get that part. Yes, the guy caught the girl texting in the hotel room, and the reason why. The cops know it's the guy because the video only shows him and this girl walking in and out of the hotel. Oh, yeah. So it's yeah, you know, it's pretty obvious. It's like off text. I thought it was like a for a detective. That's a I thought know, it was, yeah, it was more You really got it on on that with Sherlock Holmes. Open and shut and jump. Dickhead. So yeah, over text, over a few texts to other guys, this guy decided, fuck the money that I won. <laughs> Maybe he blew it by then. I don't know. No, I don't think no, it, 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 it didn't say it in an article if you blew it by then. Like, they would have known. Had left. They, yeah, they would have known. But it just felt like... Stupid. Like a waste yeah, of time. like, what you doing, bro? Like, move on with this girl, bro. You still got money. Hopefully you still got money. You suck on the girl. I don't know, How are you going to murder this girl? Knowing that you, there's no way you're going to get away with it. Well, regardless, murder's fucking wild. But at this point, the only reason why this story is really anything crazy is because if I want any large sum of money, the last thing I'm doing is throwing away, uh, throwing away my life, knowing I have bread like that. You know how much shit I can do with my freedom? What do you mean throwing away your life? Like murder? Murder is what? Like 14? 14, 15 years? Are you fucking life? high? Sometimes it can be 14, 15 years, isn't it? Life? It's 25 to life. Is it though? It isn't no, what the that. fuck? Anyway, if I'm a judge and they go, yo, why'd you murder this girl? No. She was texting another dude. I'd be like, so you think I, the judge is going to be like, you know what? You don't deserve the no, full. I'll be, like, I'll be like, normally I give you 20, but if she no. was texting other dudes, I'll give you 13, 14. So, so exactly. So, so if you're texting other dudes, it's less, it's less, it's less cheating? Less cheating? What do you mean? All right, so. Cheating is cheating. You have a girlfriend, right, Andy? I do. I, uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> I hope you, oh, I hope you claim her on air. Yeah, I do, I do. You have a girlfriend. You, I see, do. you see your girlfriend cheating. Not okay. You see your girlfriend texting another dude. I killed her though. And because you don't have ten million dollars. <laughs> no, what are you saying? You're gonna kill her. I'm saying, yeah. is that gonna make you angry? Yeah, I'll probably stop her shit, but I won't fucking kill her. You're gonna hit her. Can we just hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on? Run me, the, run me through the situation. Run you through the okay, okay. You Because this is spontaneous. This is gonna be like looking for something. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You, you and your girl. You, your girl. You matter of fact, you plan a nice little special little oh, getaway for your girl. Fuck. Okay. A little, little weekend off straight. You guys go to that hotel. Oh, with oh, that. oh that's so nice. I was oh. building. I'm sorry. I'll never build it again. Let me paint a picture. I painted it. You, you get an Airbnb. Airbnb. Mm. Okay, with your girl. Just, a nice one, just, right? Just you and her. It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't her. matter. What the fuck? Bro, you care about the Airbnb or you care about the pussy? I tend to. He wants a good Airbnb. You get the Airbnb. You get inside the Airbnb. You pay for everything. Okay. You're looking forward to it. It's your girl. You love, love, you love your girl. It's, it's your girl. I'm getting hard. Next thing you know, you go to the bathroom. You know, you come back, she's on the phone. You're like, alright, cool. Okay. Sh-. She leaves her phone, you go shower. Ooh. No, she goes to the shower. Okay. Like, you know, let me, let me take a quick look. You know, the, the, the demons in your head start speaking. Let me check our phone. Let me, let me see what's up. Oh, shit. You see what's up? And she's texting your best friend. Are you oh, talking? come on. That's not bad. <laughs> Don't do the best friend. She, she's texting Mark. I am murdered. Mark? She's texting Mark. She's oh, texting, she's texting me. Mark. I'm going to get her out of the shower and go, what are you doing with your life? No, no, no. no. All right, real shit. Okay, okay. Earlier. She's texting some other guy. You know, his name is whatever his name is. You gonna you gonna slap her? No, I'm gonna deck her with a close fist. Damn. Yes. I'll take a year or two. I won't. I'm gonna get when I get out. Two, two, two years and shit. Like, I'm gonna tell me in dollars. You broke. The 
fuck. He's so in real life. I'm not saying you want to. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. This instant, you don't know what to do. Yeah, bro, you're going away this week. She's just cheating on Andy. Alright. No, no, $10 million. Okay, well, never mind. I'm not going to do shit. You're just going to take it. Are you going to get angry? Oh, I'm going to get angry. You're going to feel a level of anger, right? Yeah, but I'm not going to hit her, no. If I don't have money, I'm not going to hit her. Alright, but some regular dude that does not think of you gets angry and kills people. It gets gets a little power hungry. That yeah, drastic, that drastic. Some psycho you know. shit. You feel me? Yeah, no, I feel you. I feel you. I would so want like, that. Even shit. over texting, I feel like I feel like I, I don't feel like it's justified, but I feel like that's you know that's crazy. But that leads me into the question: like, how fucking crazy you gotta be to lose your life over ten million? Oh, over some pussy. Well, when you really think about it, it sounds like he just wasn't happy. No, 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 I feel happy. No, he, no, 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 I don't. Think, I, I don't. I don't think he. I don't think he was. I don't think it's the fact that he wasn't happy. I don't know. I think it's the fact that he felt some sort of power. I yeah. felt like because I have a million dollars, you are gonna respect me and you're gonna be my bitch. Oh, okay. And you're gonna be my. You're gonna. You're gonna do whatever I want to do. Nah, see the way I see it is kind of like if I had a happy life. Like let's say I, I managed to get the money. I feel happy. I have my shit situated. I have money. If I have a happy life, I'm not throwing that shit away for nobody, especially if it's through text. But if I'm not if I'm not happy and I resort to putting my happiness through my girl and I find out that the one place that I, I'm okay with is cheating on me, then 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 I understand why I won't say I understand, but I see the the I, I can see why he murdered her, I guess, right? Because he just wasn't a happy guy, he has nothing to throw away. Clearly the money wasn't doing it for him. Not dog. The reason why he murdered her is because he felt like he lost that power. He felt like he needed to give that power back, I guess. So he fucked her shit. Regardless, it's a sick fuck. Yeah, no. Regardless, it's a sick fuck. Yo, do you guys think, like, $10 million would make you happier now? <laughs> like, do you, do, do, you, do you think, like, $10 million would make somebody who's, like, broke, broke would make them happy? Or would it just be asking, $10 million and then that's it? So are you asking the life question of, does, does, does money bring you happiness? Does money buy happiness? Yes. yes. Does money buy happiness? Yes, it does. I think it. I, I have, a, I have a, a little kind of cycle to how this goes, I think. I think money does not directly buy happiness. I think money grants you freedom, and freedom grants you happiness. I think that's how it goes. Because, it, because yeah, you're right. I can get a $10 million right now, have horrible relationships in my life, have, have no real sense of happiness, but. If I get money right now, that means I don't have to work. I don't have to worry, right? And not only that, now I have time to live my life to the fullest. Yeah, maybe the money's not directly buying me happiness, but it's giving me the freedom that I can now dedicate to my happiness and my love. You know what I'm saying? So I think, yes, I think it does, to some extent, buy you happiness. I, th I don't think it's the only way to get happy, but I think that it's a, a very quick and easy manner to get happy, if that makes sense. That makes sense. You see what I'm saying? Do you think, do you think money gives you like a, a certain power trip? Yes, for sure. Hundred yeah. percent. There's been times so, where I, when the check hits, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm about to death somebody. So your first, hold up. So your first thought in your head uh -huh. when you get the check at the end of the week is, who can I deck? Maybe not deck. Maybe let's spit on or something like that. What? kind of power trip is this? <laughs> no, fucking bro, you're an animal. I'm fucking playing, bro. Relax. Unbelievable. Relax. Um, hold on, hold on. What? Nice. Um, solid. Yeah, that was, that was good. I don't know. I don't think money buys you happiness. I don't think money buys you anything. I think money is... Well, money does buy you. I think money... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It does buy check me. It, check it. It. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think money is just very something very superficial. I think it's like it's all for show. Like I said, I think I think I, I agree with Ant, with Andy. Like, okay, money buys the freedom, but I feel like there are people who are extremely broke who just enjoy each other's company, rather than somebody who is super rich and they have to continuously keep working and keep up with appearances. And there's that a third, and mm -hmm. they're not. Together, I feel like time is more valuable than money. You agree? I, I mean, I, I agree. Time will buy you money. Mm -hmm. Time will buy you money. No, money will buy money. Come on, cuz. <laughs> keep, 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 keep up, cuz. Money will buy you time, but I feel like also once you're you have that much amount of money, I feel like then it's just it's just I see you, exactly you, you get you get. 
it, it gets to your head. I feel and, and I feel like that that's in every single case. I don't feel like there's an exception. I think yeah. there's definitely oh sorry. Go on, go on. I think there's definitely exceptions because like I mean, I feel like if that was the case, then every single person in the world that has money would be doing some fucked up shit. But there's some people in the world that I think it just depends on who you are. Like it's just like every other situation. Like for example, I can say that LeBron James is He's a billionaire now. Right. Because he's just yeah. Congrats, congrats come on, on, bro. But well, remember, he has a school, a foundation for those people who can't go to school. He has the whole "I Promise" school foundation thing that he grants basically kids if they go through school and get to college, he'll pay for that, like their college and stuff like that. Like, there's people who do good with money, but there's also people who do bad with money. I think it's just depends on who you are. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, like I said, money doesn't always buy you happiness. I think it can. But I, but just like money can buy you happiness in some extent, money can also drive you crazy. Let me switch up the question real quick. Okay, switch it up. Shoot. We're gonna get back to the whole ten million guy and the lady with the the, the thirty five thousand. Does sudden money buy you happiness? Yes. I think it buys S- you mm-hmm. sudden money. Does it buy you happiness, or is it gonna buy you buy you time to be happy, and then you're gonna get back and revert to? Your old self when I find five dollars on the floor, bacon oh, egg and cheese, <laughs> bacon egg and cheese, guys. bacon egg and cheese, <laughs> bacon egg and cheese, salt and ketchup on the napkin. Nah, that's about five dollars. Hold on, you know, that's about five dollars. No, yeah. but you're saying you know, even the smallest amount of money that I find that will give you like that thrill. Okay, that comes no, to me, no, 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 five dollars, five sure, five dollars. I'm talking about like you're broke and. You win, you hit the lottery for a million dollars, or you hit up, you go to Bro, casino. That's like a super, that's like a super. That's a life changing amount of money. Yeah, that's like a crazy amount of money. Okay. Like you, okay. We will talk, but we're talking different. Okay, what are you, okay, so what are you doing with that money? You you hit the casino, you hit a million dollars, what are you doing with it? Hiding it away from you. Um, <laughs> no, 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 What the fuck are you doing with it? How do you mean what I'm doing with it? A million Bro, dollars. I'm so, sure, I'm sure you have a plan hold on, for when hold you on, get rich. Hold on. If you're talking realistically, if we're talking realistically, there's a certain amount of money, right, that you can break out into different categories, right? So let's say a million dollars, you can't really do a like you can't do a lot. You can do a lot. It's not life changing. Bro, it's not life changing. Nowadays, you it's right. Right. That's, 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 that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying like life changing where you change your life, you change your whole your next generation. You. I'm saying just sudden money that will help you out with your death out, your your current bill, sure. and have you have money to spend. Okay, if we're yeah. talking like that, then look. Whatever I win, let's say a billion dollars, I'm paying off obviously all the debt that I have. I'm buying out if I oh on my car, I'll buy out the car, whatever it is, right? I'm not even gonna buy myself a house with a million dollars. What I'm doing is I'm putting that into property, and I'm gonna try it, and I'm gonna have property worth a million. Yeah, I feel that. So I'm gonna okay. Airbnb some shit. Okay. So a different state. Okay. So you're, you're saying you're saying oh, like with a million dollars, I'm making more money. I'm using that yeah, money to that's make more it, money. That's money that you're most buying. See, bro, it's different because yeah, if you're winning, like that. if that's you're different. winning, if you win five million dollars, right, that gives you the same thing. You multiply whatever it is with your investments, and the rest you you know you make you put. That's yes, the problem. Yes, like, I don't yes, you know, yes, but yes. a lot of these people that win these millions, they, don't they blow show. it in like two years. One hundred percent. That's how most people are. That's a, that's but human, that's that's, that's the human thing. nature. Well, to be fair, yeah. but I don't know. Oh, well, yeah, but all I said that's human nature. You see it, you react. That's a problem. But I also feel like are. those are the people that have never Touch like money. yeah, that never had that yeah, okay. until yeah. that one moment. But like, I'm not saying that I want a million dollars, but I'm saying like, bro, that five dollars, except you know the bacon and the cheese, I might also get a bag of chips. Yeah, I, I might get a fucking bag of chips, bro. I might get that with Arizona. You know what I'm saying? With that Stop, Arizona. nah, nah, nah. You're gonna get dollar Arizona. Five dollars. Bro, I'm telling you. I can you, find you a deli where I can get a bacon and cheese for three twenty five and a dollar Arizona. I'm telling That's you, Arizona and a bag of chips. I, 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 and twenty five cent bag of chips. I genuinely, I'm sorry, seventy five cents. I genuinely believe that Arizona. Come off, friend. You're not gonna find me at any deli that sells. I guarantee bacon. you, next episode, bacon and seventy five out, seventy five, seventy five cent bag of chips. If you can find me at Bacon and cheese that's three dollars. Yes. What do you want to receive? What are you serious? Yes. Facts. No doubt. Seventy five. I want you to take me for chips. For chips. I know a place that sells a, a small bag of Doritos for fifty. There you go. That's what I'm saying. No, no. no. I know chips are fifty cents. I know Arizona is one dollar. I'm saying. You want me to? I will go to a deli and I will spend five dollars and get all three of these things. Do you want to do it? Do it. Is this a bet? Bring me a Is this a bet? I'm not gonna make a bet. Bring a receipt, bro. Bring match my bet. If I win, match your bet with you what? Give me five, you pay him. You, you pay, pay me ten dollars. I'm not 
pay you to double my money. Right, I'll pay for and you. And if I I'll lose, pay, I'll, I'll pay. I'll no, no, no. my bacon <laughs> Okay, I'll pay for that said meal. Ooh. I'll pay for that right. said meal. Cheers to that. Bam. Damn, it's it's in, it's in. But isn't it crazy that Arizona's still a fucking dollar? The Arizona's killing Yo, it. Yo, are you fucking and crazy? They're killing dollar? you. <laughs> they're yeah, fucking yeah, killing yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the TV. Bro, there ain't no TV in there, bro. You think Arizona gets his TV? Yo, what's your favorite flavor of Arizona? You grow. Ooh, sweet tea. Bro, sweet tea. Mine is the half and half. Mine is the half and half. You know the half lemonade, half iced tea? With the black and white guy. Yeah, that shit is. Arnold Palmer. Arnold Palmer. Arnold Palmer. He's a famous golf. They put yeah, that guy in like, Arizona. Fuck the heat. It's called the Arnold Palmer. The, the, the drink is called Arnold Palmer. What? Arnold Palmer. You lie. Arnold Palmer. Is it on the can? What the hell are y'all talking about? The one His name is signed on the can. That's the drink. Can anybody read that shit? I'm drinking that bitch. Smack it open. Just wait, like, wait, wait, wait. So, so yeah. Arizona sponsors a golfer? I never knew this shit. That's fucking crazy. Pretty sure he's, uh, he's gone. Oh, well, Arnold uh, Palmer's not there. It's a, it's a tribute. I don't know. I'm pretty sure. Right, well, let's, not, let's, let's, not, let's, not, let's, let's not kill people on the show. Alive. No, we don't do that. Um, yeah. Ten million dollars is a lot of money, though. For it, for back to what we're saying. Ten million. What do you guys think? What do you guys think is life changing money? Uh, I actually, I actually have to talk about this. Anything over three mil, because with one mil, so this is the way I break it up. With three mil, one mil, I could get a nice, a nice crib. With another mill, I could hold on to like myself for any like emergencies, you know, my day by day stuff. And another mill to reinvest into businesses. And then with that, your life, you're not only set with a house, you not only have a million to just be like comfortable with, but you also have a million to invest into money. And then let's say, per se, you, you lose your mill, you can just feed off what you kept the other mill for and then go for it. No, three mil over. It's finance it's advice. It sounds like. like it sounds like you get like like have a whole plan for your three bill. Ask me if I have money. No, 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 no. no, no. Oh, it's ask me if I have money. Oh, it's do you know what else? Ask me. I live. With ask you. me. Andy. <laughs> yes. Tu tienes dinero. Do you have money? Not a single fucking dollar. Where does all your money go? Andy has money. No, bro. Andy has money. That's the fucking. That's the fucking thing. And you just sit crypto. Around. So honestly, yeah, I'm saying he's into a property. I'm saying on crypto. And he's into girlfriend. That honestly speaking, honestly speaking, I have I'm sitting on some nice crypto and right now I'm saving for property, but not to live in. Oh I that's wanna buy some property. There you go. Yeah, I I just wanna buy something. That's the way to do it. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Um I have a question. Sure. Right. sure. It's just this just yeah. spontaneously came to me. So fucking sure. right. Back to that whole conversation. What happened? Does this have anything to do with money? Um, because I don't know if you guys know this episode's only about money. Oh, money, money, it's it's money conversation. Your paw uh, don't itch, you don't twitch. You don't see that green? <laughs> Suck my Wait, what did you say? That was horrible. Don't make it repeat. No, no, no. Don't make it repeat. Honest, if you don't say that shit right now again, I'm gonna fuck If your paw don't itch, don't twitch. Ooh! What are you doing? I'm writing that down. Quote it. For what? I'm writing that down. Put it on a shirt. We got your money. Don't we'll put on a shirt. Don't be some merch coming. Just want you guys to know. Ridiculous. I just want to let Ridiculous. you guys know that the fucking merch is coming. It will not have that on it. Listen, it's not going to be that overpriced merch that everybody's trying okay. to sell you. No, he's lying. Not. $40 is the start of our Mark, Mark is all about giving it back to the fucking community. Very <laughs> set polyester. We go give um, back to all the communities. Polyester. Well, Yo, real quick, my wife bought. A new like little duvet cover, and it had like twenty five percent polyester. It's itchy. And I told her, I'm like, yo, dude, I'm a cotton baby. That shit is gonna <laughs> make is is gonna make you sweat. It's gonna make you sweat. Wait, why? Polyester just makes you sweat. A, what's not really? really? It's not breathable. Mm. Is that what it is? Mm. Breathable. Uh, I'll whatever. Whatever. For whatever. I I just heard polyester. I'm sweating. I just heard polyester. You gotta take your shirt off. Yeah. <laughs> Break so, uh, fucking news, ladies. So for the hold on, hold on. Make sure you do the for the, the audio, audio on camera. Yeah, but for the audio, uh, Andy has just danced and removed his shirt and threw it into a box. 
Oof, um, and he showed off his muscle. Do you want to see that? Fuck, why did I do that? that? We can't believe that. Uh, fuck. I cannot believe that. Oh, Quick question. This is that issue? Hold on. So my wife bought this cover, yeah, she and, did. and I told her, I'm like, eh, you know, it's a little crazy. We sleep in it for two months. You sleep in it? I cover myself <laughs> with <laughs> sleep <laughs> with the polyester. No, I'm just asking for the proper way yeah, you say it. Like whatever the fuck. Okay. Cover myself with a polyester duvet. Duvet cover. And I sweat like I've never sweated before. I wake up drenched. I purposely uncover myself every single night. So I gotta sleep under that shit. So wait, what? Okay, back to that, back to the story of our polyester merch. It's not gonna be polyester, 100% cotton. <laughs> you said polyester merch. 100% cotton. Can I? Fuck it. Stamp of approval! Oh, and for and cotton and merch. And and Andy's stamp of approval. Bah. Well, for cotton yeah. merch. Um, quick question. So, sure. she just bought that. That's great. Uh, back to that whole conversation about, about where we were talking about you. This is bringing it way back. I'm sorry. Way back, way back. Way back. I, let's I, do I, it. I just thought about it. Oh, let's do it. But um, when you're going through your girl's phone, Don't right? Fuck. When you're going through your girl's phone. Yeah, I'm going back to that. Oh, do you know your wife's phone password? I know my wife's phone password, but I've never been through my wife's phone. phone. I'm very proud of you. Yeah, it's a good thing. That that that's good. That's uh, that's, that's 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 a how long y'all been together? together? Eight years. Bang. Baby been together for four. <laughs> married for four. Baby. With a two-year-old son, never been through my wife's phone once. That shit. Listen, to me. listen to fucking me. He's pointing at the camera. That shit leads to no good. Yeah, you want to sleep at night. Do not go through your significant. Even if you think they cheated, Andy, don't do it. These to no good. Andy, it's uh, all looks in the camera right now. That's all. He's looking at the camera. He's Merch. Like, okay. Right. Merch. <laughs> it, it's gonna come. Y'all be ready. Y'all be ready. So, uh -huh. yeah. So, uh, Andy, okay. have you uh, went through your significant other's phone? No. You know your significant. So, yeah, you know her password. No, no, you don't know her password. No, bro. Can I? Can I? Can I get like a thing in here? Thank you. Get your thing uh, in, bro. Get your thing in. Put your thing in your mouth. Let me just thing in. Let me just thing in. Let me just thing in. Uh, Andy, how long y'all been together? Not that long. Uh, we started dating in January. Don't mess this up. January. You know that six months. People take this person. Six months. Six months. I know her for about eight or nine. Like actually talking and stuff. That that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. So uh. Do you okay? So you don't know any passwords or anything for anything? I really know. Wait, oh, uh, Olet's passwords for anything? Anything? My wife knows every single one of my passwords to every little. They're thing married. Thing. Let me ask you a question: Are any of the passwords your child's birthday? No, no comment. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no fuck. If anybody knows my child's birthday, which a lot of people do, <laughs> the fuck. <laughs> not to move my, my beard, which was kind of in the way, but not really. You know, he could have got it and been completely clear from my beard. He just bent down so far deep. <laughs> that the soul of <laughs> the spikes. He bad about the spikes. He just, he just, he just went so far deep <laughs> that his armpit literally deep-throated my fucking beer top. <laughs> this, this smells like more. <laughs> This is literally. I'm drinking I'll beer. Drink it. I'll drink it. I'll drink it. I'll trade. Will you really? I'll drink. It. Oh shit! Give me that. Give me that shit. My boy said, "Let me get some of that Mark sweat." Oh, Cheers, Mark. Wow, that really um. 
I didn't think you noticed how you honestly. Like, I didn't notice. I was staring the whole Ooh. fucking time. Ah. Okay, so. Uh, so you were trying to find the clit on my fucking dick. <laughs> the way you were rubbing that shit. Is it really that so, hard to find the clit? Wow. I heard it's really hard. I'm not gonna lie. To you. Okay, it's, um, it's not. Back to where I'm anyways, going. Anyways, the last. Did, you, did you know where the clip was? Your yes. First time? Yes, I googled. I'm not gonna lie. I got him Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, <coughs> on that note, speaking of your kid being <coughs> password, uh, have you ever heard of allegedly? <laughs> allegedly, yes. allegedly, my kid, my password, my kids. Yo, every day, every one of your people see, sees this, <laughs> sees this on YouTube, and they're all trying to log into this. This is so day. terrible. Like, Amazon back in the eight hundred. But bro, how did they figure out your password? Uh, it's your child's birthday. Mm. So, people, I don't know if you ever heard of this. Andy, you ever heard of this? Yes, I have. I, I, what I, is it called? Uh, password child? Password child. Password child. Is it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's you want to explain it? Yeah, sure, sure. So, basically, I guess on a quick summary of what it is, it's the way I would put it, it's when, uh, for example, someone like maybe OX, allegedly, Allegedly, he loves, his, he loves his son. You know, his son's his first baby, so of course, years. so of course, he's gonna make allegedly some passwords aligned with his son's maybe name, birthday, along that side. Allegedly, but let's say, let's say, <laughs> let's say, allegedly, if those are really his passwords, he has three or four kids deep. Yeah, which I'm not. Are you keeping that password as yeah. what is allegedly? Your it's favorite child. Your favorite child. Your favorite child. Um, and I'm telling you right now, knowing how Alex is, even if he loved another kid more yeah. than Noah, Numero that is Numero. allegedly his name. He is <laughs> allegedly. He is not switching any passwords. Numero. Well, first off, he's lazy. He's he's, he's lazy. lazy to do. Come back, you guys. Come, come back. 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 Look like into your emails. I'll look all your emails. Look, I'm trying hey, to. Yeah, we'll look your emails. I'm, I'm a little intoxicated. All right, so so bro, so you tea coffee, tea coffee, tea coffee, go home. Out of here. That's a shirt right there. Tea coffee. Oh, no, no, we gotta share this. We gotta share on that one again. I don't know okay. if you're coming from. You're killing it. You're killing it. So one day. Of course. So real quick, you are a sibling. You're a sibling. Of yeah. I'm the old sixteen kid. No, I'm the oldest of five, and my mom watches the podcast, so be careful. Oh, really? Very Subscribe, extreme. like, you're lying. You. My mom, if my mom, hi, Valia. If my mom <laughs> subscribed, <laughs> like, and okay. commented, you should too. It's fine. Go ahead, mom. I'm very proud of her for having no, no, no. many kids. Twins. <laughs> twins. It's impressive. Twins, twins, no. twins after the age of 40 is impressive. Right. My mom is, quick shout out to my mom, Warrior. Do fucking it. warrior, do it. warrior. She and for for moms out there, yeah. Imagine leaving your child at one to move to a different country to then meet your child at ten years old. Yeah. That's just crazy. But let me ask you something though: to oh. provide for five kids, to give them a good life. <laughs> shout out to my <laughs> shout out. Hold on, hold on, hold on, real, real quick. Shout out to my little brother. Ooh. That motherfucker King. is a valedictorian at his Facts. school. Shout out Mitchell, bro. No. Fucking right, bro. You know what's crazy? Cheers to Mitchell. Cheers to Mitchell. Yeah, I'm trying to get something crazy? No. He's a twin. Paterno. For, it doesn't matter. No, I'm just saying he's, that's kind of cool. A, he's a twin. Kind of cool. And my sister was low-key a little torn that he was valedictorian. Torn? I mean, I like that jealous? No. I don't think she was jealous. I, I don't. I think jealous is the wrong word. She was disappointed. It's more herself. like, it's more like, wow! I wish I got that spotlight. Oh, uh, well, that's jealousy. It's so, not. It's not envy. Mark, go ahead, bro. Yeah. Go ahead. So, I uh, your job so yeah, I'm, I'm trying to keep like one topic. You're really killing me here. <laughs> I know. So it's my fault. Speaking of the valedictorian and the rest of the kids that are actually doing very impressive things, um, who do you think is your mom's favorite? Who would be her password child? My mom, my mom wouldn't. What's crazy? I'm oh, sorry? I don't think my mom would do that. Are you saying that because... I think my mom would have a... I think we all know, well, not all of us, but we all know who's maybe her okay, password child. Okay, that's debatable. I, I, I'm not going to lie to you. In, 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 uh, 
I, I, that's my, you know, both. That's my mother in law. Yeah. That's my best friend. That's you my know gang. Both. You know, both. that's gang. That's wait, wait, gang but hold on. Like, answer the question. Did you figure out what she, what I asked you? Yes. Of course I did. And who is, who would it be? Okay. One, I know my mom's efforts. Mm. And they both involved every other sibling <laughs> besides myself. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> that ass. Yeah. You were the first one for like six that years. Bro. I, I, no, six I, years? Oh, wait, but no, I, I, I was. I was. You were the first one for like eight years. Twenty? No, eight, no, I was the first one for eleven years. But oh, eleven. 11 years. I was never a password. That means for those oh. eleven years, it was A B C one two three. <laughs> nah, it was the password that that self generates whenever. Oh, 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 I mean, she got a good memory though. Yeah, that's the password I still use today. Bang, bang, it's not my bad. My, my baby's bad. Gangy. But anyways, Andy, I go, go, to, go to your mom. Go she, to your mom. She really, she really does not have nothing. a favorite. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't, I, I, it, I, it's I, really, if, if my mother does have a favorite, she is amazing at keeping it hidden. Because honestly speaking, I genuinely believe that my mom showed equal love as much as you're not. It's only two of us. I feel like your mom showed correct love. I feel like your mom did not deprive both of you of anything. Like in, in our culture, as a, well as a, like as a Hispanic, I feel like it's typical for moms to love their sons more because of how it works. Speak on that. You know how it is. Like for example, as a, as a mom or as a Hispanic woman, she had to quote unquote not that she had to really, but her culture, take care of the men in the house, both the one she was married to and the one that's an upcoming man, which would be me. But my mom, You're honestly, coming, man. my mom still not my drop. My balls have not dropped a single bit. But honestly speaking, my mom has always kept it even. My mom has always showed me a hundred percent love and not failed ever to show my sisters the same. Shout out to Candy. Shout out to my mom. Allegedly, Candy. Allegedly. Allegedly. That's allegedly, allegedly her name. That's her nickname. Yo, how funny Plays would it be if I was like, yo, in the comment section, who is your favorite child? <laughs> and their birthday. <laughs> <laughs> we got all the passwords, bro. Uh, Lock into do all the chase ever. Ever. Um So yeah, that was, that was that was pretty fun. The way that you answered that, you know, you've never been a password. Bro, I've never been a bad. That's, That's fine. fine. I, I, That's fine. I, I am to this day okay. suffering from the fact <laughs> that... Suffering? My mom loves my sister more than me. It That's shows. fine. I love your sister more. Yeah. It shows. No, of course it shows. It shows. So you're damaged. Damaged goods. We're, we're all damaged goods. That's true. Alright, well, let's fucking relax. relax. Anyways, <laughs> uh, the f let's bring this back up to the happy topic. Let's play a game called um, Is Mark This Third? No, That Thirty. Is Mark That Thirty? How oh thirty my is God. Mark really? This is this is a segment that we came up with, and I forgot. I. Completely fucked it up. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Are that dirty? Right, Let's find dirty. out. I'm gonna go with some easiest. Easiest? easiest? Hold, hold on. Hold on. Let me explain. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go, go, ahead, go ahead. So, Andy, our um, union 20 year old, who <laughs> is uh, of kind of. He, 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 he drinks. Not a whole beer. No, yeah, this is this this is not. It's a virgin. It's a virgin. None of your fucking business. Virgin. None of your fucking None business. Your fucking business. Suck my dick. Oh. Not you guys. Not you guys. Just stop. The federales. The all right. Federales. And you would like to apologize. I would like to apologize to all law enforcement and anyone that's listening to this. So, sorry. We're gonna play a game where Andy, our local twenty-year-old, gives gives today's slang. Provides Correct. today's slang to myself and Mark, your local thirty-year-old and almost thirty-year-old. It's been a pleasure being here, and uh, we're gonna see if we can decipher and see what it means. Easiest to last, last week's last week's word, Mark. You remember? Um, something about a hot dog. Duly something. About <laughs> it was it was Duly something about a gun, and uh, I don't remember the other time. Mark. I'm not learning. Uh, Mark, I'm telling you, I'm at thirty. It, it would be hard to remember. Words. It would, it would, it, it would behoove you. Whoa, whoa! It would behoove you How to know and drunk are you? That you did you just say behoove? You? SAT words, guys. SAT words. I took it three times. Behoove you, cuz behoove you, girl. But anyways, yeah. Let's start up. So we're gonna go from easiest to hardest. Um, ah, eh, this is probably the easiest one. Shoot. 
This one's pretty easy. Shoot. Yeet. What did you just do? That's the word. That's a sound of Y. 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 E. T. Y. E. T. Y. E. T. Yeet. Is that like a call out to a girl? That's a word. Is that something that you're saying to a girl? No. I'm sorry. Well, if you're saying to a girl, you get no pussy. So, it, so it, much by saying that's a girl. Is that, is that lame slang? It's pretty lame. Yeet. It's, it, so it is slang. What I understand. Wait, 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 hold on. Can you use it in a sentence? Because I didn't ask. Well, you have to ask. I thought I fucking had to ask. and say please. Can you, um, can you please use it in a sentence? Here? <clears throat> oh my god. That guy just yeeted that ball across the field. Wow. If I knew that, I would not have... Uh, I would not have said what I said. Uh, Olex, now that you know the sentence, can you define this word? Through. Oh, is it? Through the ball. He's Mark. gonna go with through. What is he Mark gonna go with? Uh, I already went with, uh, I say it's your girl. That was really? Oh, wow. Well, I can't uh, go back on what no, I said. No, 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 okay. Well, I feel like oh. <laughs> this is beer than garbage. You guys should hear my burps. All I'm saying is, Jesus. since that was your try, right now you're looking like you're pretty 30. But he does mean Throw. But it doesn't yeah, bro. But no no, but to be fair, to be fair. It was a pretty easy one. It was an easy one. The but, sentence gave it away. But yeet is not only to throw, it's to like fucking chuck. So mm -hmm. yeah, yes, shit. yes, exactly. The way I know the word yeet is by chugging a beer or a shot, whatever drink you have, like mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you chug it. And then chug chug that shit. I'm not gonna chug box park. Okay. I'm gonna chug it, bro. Ooh! See, so I could use it. Ooh. I could see. I like it, Mark. 30, 30 and kicking. Mark, I hope you remember this next week. Uh, I'm gonna eat that girl. All right, ready? Uh, second one. Second one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Mark, I'm gonna remember it. I'm gonna remember. He's it. gonna eat this girl. Okay, okay. Just let, it let it roll. Let it roll. Let it roll and rock. Rock and roll. 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 roll second roll. word. Stan. 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 S T A. So, I mean, use that in sentence, please. No, hold on. But like, we have Stan is the man. No, 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 God, I love Britney Spears. I'm gonna stand for her. Oh, it means to like, like back up to support her. Yeah, I think we we'll both got that. We stand behind. Her. That was that was yeah. I love. Her. Honestly speaking, first of all, Britney, I love you. So all you yeah, did was take off the D. No, 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 no. no you no. should never take off. That's the not D. what it was. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. This segment. It, it's. You guys were partially right, but it's not the real core essence of what it is. A stand is when you are a fucking die-hard fan. So yeah. in 30, oh, that means support. <laughs> <laughs> no, no matter no matter how much emphasis you put on stand. In 30s? No, 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 no. Support. The thing is, the thing is, you could be like, for example, I, I, my favorite artist is Daniel Caesar. I would consider myself a stand. I stand Daniel Caesar. But... I like Mac Miller. I like other people. I'm fan. I'm a fan, but I'm not a stan. Where you know, does that? Where does that word originate from? To be completely honest, I, I have one word. The origin. The origin. No, you wanted no. to like break it up like an S dash in between. <laughs> the again? No, no. I want. Dan. I want or I want who came up with the word. Oh okay. no! Oh no! 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 This is a great question, and I think all this is gonna like this. A stan came from Eminem song. A diehard fan. Oh, tell me that's background. not fucking sick. That was impressive. That you had the background on that. Come on, that was impressive. tell that me was that's impressive. not fucking sick. Polish. Go on, Andy, do I get into it? I didn't think you get into it. No, 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 no. You know what I'm about to get into. Okay, okay, do okay. I get into it? Uh, yeah, get into it. Fuck it. All right. Do you know? Do you know? Do you guys know? I have one more word, by the way. But go into it. Do you guys know the song um, "In the Airtime" by Phil Collins? Yes. Do you know what that song is about? Oh, this gives me chills. Mark. No, because Andy knows. I love this fucking sure. story. I want you to recite a song for me. <laughs> what? I can feel it coming in the air. Very nice. Yes. Mm. Oh. Mm. So that song yes. originates. That song is by Phil Collins. You said that. Shout out to Phil Collins, brother. And uh -huh. 
the song is about Phil Collins seeing one of his friends drowning in their neighbor's pool to death. To death. No joke. Because and and what happened was so these group of kids were swimming in the neighbor's pool and when the neighbor came out, all the kids ran away. But one of the kids couldn't run away. Yeah. One, fell of, in. one of Phil Collins' friends couldn't run away. He got caught in the pool and the neighbor watched that kid drown to death. Watch so them. then so then Phil Collins sang that song at a concert that that guy was at. And you can hear it in Eminem's lyrics in the song Stand, where he goes, I don't remember how it goes, because, <laughs> you know, on YouTube it's copyrighted. So, oh, good point. Yeah, I do remember, but I don't remember. Touche. <laughs> but if you listen to the song Stand, um, in about the third, third verse, third verse, Stan's verse, it's not Eminem's verse, it's Stan's verse, he explains what happens. That shit's crazy. My tattoo guy actually put me onto that. Lou. Shout out to Lou. Shout out to Lou. Shout out to fucking everybody. Shout out to Lou, the tattoo, tattoo guy. Um, um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, can we get a third word? Third? Okay, so the third one is actually a phrase. This one's going to be pretty fun. I think that you guys, there's potential to get it. I'm going to try to see if I can use it in a sentence without giving it away, but I think this is a fun one, okay? <laughs> Beef walk. It's a phrase. Beef walk. Beef walk. Beef beef as in like the meat and then walk as in like I'm broke so I don't have a car so I'm gonna walk. Can you use your phrase in yes. a sentence? Yeah. My stomach's gonna hurt. I'm just gonna beef walk to be safe so I don't get embarrassed. Does that mean you're gonna walk and uh release farts? Okay, that's your guess? Well, well and I guess Is that your guess? I think so. Okay, well let's well, so I think beef walk is like walking like when you're beefy like throb. Okay. You walk like this, so like that's kind so of So you like, walk like Mark. Wow, thank you. Wait, beefy. So, he so, said so beefy. So Mark went from beefy from fast. No no no, no. The, he said it, he got it. It's, Mark, on, it's on it, it's on it, that's it's it. Like, from Mark's shoulders to his head, his body's going from his fucking we, nipples can down. Can we get the can we barney. stick to the topic? <laughs> he's fucking Barney. Enough said. Okay. okay. Topic. So Wait, 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 wait. I think I think, get it right. I think it's like walking like this. Okay. We get it. Okay, okay. He's putting, he's he's flexing and walking. We get it. One of you was right. Ooh. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Okay, right. okay. It's not right. Mark because Mark is 30. Oh, damn. Shots right. Uh, Mark was right as fuck. <laughs> Beef walk means going outside or away from a group in order to fart with less consequence. Talk about it. I have a bonus word if you guys want to. I feel like, like I feel like your sentence is uh, whack. I mean, how how can I say that without really giving it away though? Yeah. yeah and to be, fair, to be fair, to be fair, to be fair, if it was whack, he wouldn't have been able to get it. I'm just saying. He's saying that. But all times, he's saying that. Bonus. I have a bonus. You guys want it real quick? Okay. Bonus word. I think it's Holy like one one. Shit, we earned it. Is it one one? Yeah, it is one one. Oh shit! Wait, how can we one one if it was three words? Because both of them one of them. Which one didn't we get, Mark? You fall oh, the one. Why no, no. you to remember it's just it was thirty. No, it was Stan. Yeah. You guys didn't really get Stan. Oh, we didn't get Stan. You guys didn't really get Stan. You guys kind of. Well, we can't argue with him because he. It's his generation. Well, bonus word, bonus word. Bonus word. Bonus word. Tiebreaker. B O R K E D four. Wait, hold on. The fuck? One more time. B O R K E D. Can you use Barkin? <laughs> or, it, it's pronounced Borkin, but it's Borkin. Okay, can you use that in a sentence? Seriously, bro. Fuck! I just borked that whole thing up. Threw up. Fucked up. Oh, no, I don't know, bro. I don't want to bark. I'm gonna stand by threw up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you think they just got fancy? Like, stand? They took the D off? You think they just changed uh, their lives? I think, I think uh, it's just a different word for threw up. Okay, okay. stop playing. You? Fucked up. Screwed up. Did one of us get it right? Yes. Ooh, yeah. yeah. Okay, shoot. All I'm gonna say is maybe Mark's not that 30. Ooh. Because Mark two means, in a row. Per definition, to totally have fucked something up. Yo, on that note, <laughs> on me winning. If he Olex is that fucking 30. Olex that 30. Is Olex just 29? Wait, what? 
that say it's your birthday. Let's do something. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Let's, let's, so, let's do something fancy about birthday. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Something yeah. different. Yes, yeah, something different. Sure. Should I talk? No. Um, <laughs> on that note, why not? That was another episode. I'm, like he said, I'm brolic up top, and then I said brolic. I did not say brolic. Oh, okay. I, I have one last question. What's Shoot. the question? Shoot. Okay. <laughs> At this point, you guys can uh, You have a significant okay. other. Okay, like, Oh my fuck! I'm married. I'm getting in trouble. He's dead. But like, Sorry. you have you have a girlfriend and you have an ex-wife. Yes, I do. If you win the lottery for no. ten million dollars, <laughs> <laughs> if you oh, win the lottery for ten million dollars, what are you swinging to your significant other? See, the problem is that I'm a super nice guy. I will. Oh, I know you will. I will. I will. Much? I will pay off oh, all okay. the debts. How much would you do that? How much would you? How much or how, whatever debt she had, you can get close to that. At the moment, probably like uh, eight. Eight thousand? Eight grand, and probably give her like two grand for a hoopie. What the like fuck? One? How much money did I win again? He just said no. Yo, yo. Did you so give it eight grand? No, ten grand. I'm paying off her eight, debt. Eight grand for debt. Eight, eight grand for debt, debt, and two grand for hoopie. Yeah, that's ten grand. Oh, wait. That's not how the math works. Eight, eight, eight plus two? Oh, wait, is that two? I thought it was eight. eight. Oh. Oh my god, sorry. But will you want some pussy in return? No. What the hell? Because you're still gonna get pussy, this is just gonna be Andy. You are still gonna get pussy. Andy, no. How much are you swinging to your significant other? How much are you swinging to your significant other? Okay, let me explain. Really quick. I'm not gonna physically give her a certain amount of money, but I will okay. take care of her. Like for example, she won't take care of me. No, 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 no. She won't have to like with it. Like if she wants to, if she wants to eat, sure, I got it. She'll, if, live, if, she'll live comfortably. She'll live comfortably, but don't expect. <laughs> but but and for one, I'm not gonna lie to you. If I'm winning that much money, you're signing a fucking prenup. Oh! You're signing a fucking prenup, bro. How how much money do you have to own to request a prenup? Because <laughs> I have thirty bucks in my fucking. <laughs> Allegedly. Don't ruin Allegedly. Love you guys. See you guys, man.